Hey guys, how's it going? Uh, so today uh, in this video series uh, where we learn about um, reduce max to blender. Um, so today we are going to learn about pivot point. Uh, so inside, uh, so what you're seeing here is, uh, is reduce max. So I only have version 2018, but that's okay uh, because most functions are all the same, uh, which we are going to discuss about. Um, so uh, so here I have a, uh, a default max uh, teapot. Uh, which you already know about and the the teapot has a uh, has a pivot point so pivot point is uh, is is right here uh, where the uh, 3d gizmo uh, shows uh, all the three axes so i can i can move the, move this object uh, to the to the center of the world that is 000 xyz uh, just by uh, ch ch changing these uh, these values here xyz so when I turn, uh, when I change the x x value to zero, it will just snap to the world. I mean, snap to the center of the world. So if you look uh, look from the side viewport or the front viewport or whatever, you can see that it is it is perfectly aligned to the uh, to the center. So pivot point is uh, is 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 really important in this in this matter. Uh, so we know how to adjust the pivot point. So so you guys should be should be coming from 3ds Max, and you adjust the pivot point just by going to the uh, to the com command panel, and you go to this hierarchy, and you select this affect pivot only button, and you, you can easily move it manually. Uh, you can actually use the you know, I mean use your mouse whichever axis you want, or or if you want to move the pivot to the center of the object, just click center of the object, okay, or or if you want to move the pivot back to the uh, world origin. Uh, just right click on this spinner over here so it'll it'll uh, it, it'll go back to its uh, its default uh, it is that easy inside max so we all know about it now now the question is how you do the same thing inside blender so people uh, coming from max uh, like like me i'm a max user for the past 20 years uh, even for personal projects or or, or professionally um, and I uh, and due to my own personal reasons, I switched to Blender because uh, comparatively Blender is uh, much more powerful. Uh, it is it is just personal reasons. Um, but you might wonder how to do this in Blender. So this video might be uh, very helpful for people to uh, to find out uh, about about each of these um, functions. I mean each of these functionalities uh, when you compare Max with Blender. Um, so how do you do the same uh, pivot point? Um, thing inside Blender. So in Blender, pivot point is is um, is called origin. So it is it is not called as a pivot point, but rather they call it origin. Okay. So how do you find the object? Uh, find find an object's origin. So here I have a monkey head. Um, so the origin is is um, is is where you see uh, this this small orange dot. So that 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 dot appears for the for the last selected object okay so when you select, select the object you can see that the uh, the the origin that is in uh, that is a pivot point in uh, in blender is right at the base of this object so that is uh, that is uh, you uh, you are seeing that at the base of the object because i adjusted it so how do you adjust it so i'll i'll create another a monkey head so the shift a and mesh and go into monkey so this is a, uh, this is a, uh, a a default mesh inside Blender, just like the teapot you find in 3ds Max. Now when you when you see uh, now it is at the middle of the uh, the object, okay. Now how do you adjust it? Now for adjusting the uh, the the origin, um, I will I will go to the uh, side view. That is uh, click on this X or Y here. So I will move this uh, move this monkey head away from the uh, away away from you so we will have more more space to uh, play with now uh, now i will I move this monkey head manually up the uh, the the one one we just created now what i need to do is i need to move the pivot point to the base 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 of the object that is base is like uh, around 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 here you can see that uh, uh, this 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 pivot point or the origin inside blender is right in the middle of the object right now Okay, so how you move it? That's an easy way to do it. Uh, if you if you go to this um, options 
menu over here that's on the right hand side of the viewport open this uh, control i mean open this drop down and click click on this transform affect only origins so this is a small checkbox okay you once you check it on you can see that it is it is it is showing a a, a kind of x and y axis okay now now, now if i manually move this so it is now moving the pivot okay or the origin so i undo it now i need to precisely uh, snap it to this vertex uh, to the bottom vertex of the uh, the monkey head so how will i do it so so there's a snap control here if you if you go to here like uh, at the top of the viewport you can see that there's a snap during transform functionality so you click, click that on and open this menu here uh, you can you can see you can get a uh, lot of uh, controls on 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 where you want to snap that's the snap target so I'm I'm now uh, getting the snap to vertex uh, option on, and uh, by by default it will be snap base will be closest, but I'm going to use it use the active option. Okay. Uh, now what you do 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 is just just hold the axis which you uh, want to move. Okay. Make sure that you turn this op origins uh, checkbox on. Then when you move it down, move it and just just uh, move the mouse over the lowest vertex okay now the origin is actually snapped to the uh, to the bottom part of the object okay bottom extreme now now uh, if you if you like if you move the mouse you can see that the the origin or the pivot point is uh, is is moving but i don't want to move the pivot point right now i want to move the object so go to the option again turn off the origins now if i uh, if i move the mouse you can see that the monkey head is moving okay now how will i snap it to the uh, to to 000 so in blender uh, it is uh, it is um, it is it is not uh, at the bottom of the viewport okay so you have to go to this uh, side menu here side i don't know what it's called side panel uh, like how you get it if you don't see it you have to press the uh, n key on the, the keyboard so n brings this panel here I can see that there's a location control here. So now along Z, so Z is up. Uh, it is uh, it is 0 0.5323 meters. So just uh, click this and just bring it down to zero, so that the, uh, so the object snaps to origin. Okay. So now I mean snaps to the uh, to the center of the world. There's another way to uh, snap it to the center of the world. Okay. Uh, there is something called cursor. So you see this. Um, ring over here so that is the cursor that that's a 3d cursor in 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 blender so suppose you're so i'll turn off this snap option suppose your object is somewhere here okay or maybe somewhere here so you want to bring it to uh to zero 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 you want to, you want to snap it to zero 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 so first snap the pivot point or the origin to uh to wherever you want now press shift s so like that will bring this menu here. Uh, it's called the pi uh, pi menu, and you you use this this option here. So selection to cursor. So once I use use that, the object will just snap to the uh, center of the world or wherever the cursor is. Okay. So the cursor 3D cursor is something really important in uh, in uh, in Blender. So you you like uh, uh, you can either um, uh, move it move the object to uh, to to whatever location you want like like you control it here like the, by typing in zero or you can bring it there by uh, using a shortcut uh, shift s that that will bring up the pi pi menu and and you can just use the selection to cursor so i hope that uh, that helped you guys to learn something about pivot point or the origin inside blender thank you so much thank you for watching